Welcome to Zoho Sign, a digital signature software solution for business signatories that completely transforms the way you sign business documents. With Zoho Sign, you can say goodbye to the cumbersome task of getting your business documents signed with pen and paper as well as the endless waiting period. Now carry out the entire signing process from anywhere so you can collaborate and close deals in minutes. Documents signed with Zoho Sign are legally binding and hold the same value as handwritten documents for most business and personal transactions across the globe. They also meet the requirements of eSign Act in the United States, the PIPDA in Canada, EIDAS regulations in the European Union, the ACTA in Africa and the ITA 2000 in India and the various electronic transaction acts across Australia and Southeast Asia. Zoho Sign helps you to sign documents across borders with confidence by offering the highest levels of original compliance. It offers Advanced Electronic Signature AES, and Qualified Electronic Signature QES, by partnering with trust service providers. Users can also sign documents with Aadhaar eSign in India and sign with SingPass in Singapore. For users in the regulated industries, there is even an option to sign documents with USB tokens and PFX files. This video will give you an overview of Zoho Sign's capabilities and how to get started with the product. Account Creation The first step is to create a Zoho Sign account. You can easily create an account from our homepage, follow the instructions there and then invite other users to join the account. If you reside in the European Union or India, make sure you create your account from our EU or India portal. Now you can see the web interface for Zoho Sign. You can see tabs like documents, templates, sign forms, reports and settings in the left and the activity feed on your right. The sign forms and admin settings tab will only be available to admins. Before you go on from here, you should take a moment to finish configuring your account. Adding users The next step in getting started is to create accounts for other users who will be using Zoho Sign. There are two ways to add a user to Zoho Sign. One, sending an email invitation to users through the Add User button on the Users page and two, importing users from cloud-based Office solutions like G Suite and Office 365. The next step is to assign a role to users. There are two predefined roles in Zoho Sign, Admin and User. Users designated as Admin can serve as the administrator for Zoho Sign and carry out general admin operations like adding or removing users, changing roles, creating templates, and creating sign forms. Those who are designated as users will not be able to perform admin operations. Rebranding Next, you can add your company logo and customize the emails sent from Zoho Sign to reflect your brand image. Navigate to the Organization Details page to add your company name, address, and logo. Go to the Email Templates page under Admin Settings to customize the emails sent from the product. You can customize the default legal disclosure by navigating to Settings, Legal Disclosure. Setting up your signature. Navigate to Settings and Profile from the left navigation pane. Click the Edit icon available next to the Signature and Initial field. Your signature can be added in three ways. Type it out and choose a style that suits you. Draw it yourself. Upload it from your computer. Verify domain ownership. This step is optional. If you wish to send emails triggered from Zoho Sign with your organization's or sender's email address instead of Zoho Sign's email address, you need to complete the domain verification process on the account settings page. This will ensure the emails sent from Zoho Sign are never flagged as spam by mail service providers. That's it. You're finished configuring your account. Signing Documents It can be time-consuming to get business documents like purchase orders, sales agreement, and NDAs signed by others. 
With the send for a signature feature, you can get your document signed in a few minutes. Let's say you need to get your sales agreement signed by your client. First, you start out by selecting the send for a signature option on the sign page. Now you can upload the sales agreement from your computer or import the document from your cloud service using the cloud picker. After uploading the document, you can then change its name, configure the days to complete the signing process, document validity, type, folder, and description. Then you can add recipients using their email address and name. Recipients can sign a document, receive a copy of the document, or sign the document in person. You can also add a private note to each recipient and enable additional authentication via email or SMS for security. To do so, click the Customize button next to the Delivery Mode dropdown. This will open a pop-up where you can enter details like the private note, authentication code delivery method, email, and interface language. If necessary, you can also configure the signing hierarchy by selecting the send in order button. Click on more settings to add reminders, configure the remainder period, and add a public note to all recipients if needed. Then click the continue button to add the fields and send the document out for signing. Adding form fields to a document is quick and easy. Simply choose a recipient and drag and drop the required fields for them. Click the send button and confirm the details. That's it, your sales agreement is now sent. You can track the status of your document and get notified when it is completed. The recipients can sign the document directly from their inbox just by clicking the start signing button. If an authentication code was configured, they will receive an authentication code via email or SMS, verify it is them, agree to the terms and conditions, and start signing. After filing out all the required fields, they then click the finish button and they're done. They can also download the signed copy Sign yourself. Now let's assume you have to sign a document and send it to others. For example, you might be sending offer letters to multiple candidates. For such cases, you would use the sign yourself feature. First, start by selecting the sign yourself option on the sign page. Now you can upload the job offer from your computer or import the document from your cloud service using the cloud picker. Click continue. Select the fields that you would like to add and drag and drop them onto the document. Click finish, add the recipient's email addresses and click the send button. Templates Do you send out hundreds of the same document for signature to different recipients at varying points in time? In this case, our templates feature will help you create one common format for a particular type of document that you can reuse time and again. To create a template, click the Templates tab on the left side menu and click the Create Template button. Upload the document from your device or import it from your cloud storage. These steps are similar to the steps involved in sending a document for signature. Once you finish uploading the document, you will see a new field here called Roles while adding the recipient. Enter the role and email for each recipient. Once you're done, click Continue. While setting up form fields, you will see a new field called Prefill Fields. This allows the document owner to pre-fill a field on the document every time before using the template. For instance, if you are going to send job offers to multiple recipients every month, then the date of the document should change every time you send it out. In that case, you can add a date field as a pre-fill field. Add fields for all recipients. Click Save.
to use the saved template, go to the navigation pane and search for the template, enter the recipient details and click the quick send button. The document will be sent right away and you can repeat this process whenever necessary. Sign forms. With sign forms, you don't need to manually import a document, add recipients and fields and send it out for signing every single time. For example, if your company wants new hires to sign a social media policy, the human resources team can create a sign form and embed this URL into the onboarding email for new hires to sign and submit. To use this feature, create a template or converting an existing template into a sign form. Configure your settings and generate a unique sign form URL. Send this URL to your recipients or embed it into your website. Your recipients then sign and submit the document through the URL. You can view the responses associated with a sign form from the actions button. There's also an option to export the associated responses as a CSV file. Document Management Next, we will go over the document management features in Zoho Sign. Documents sent or received can be tracked from the Documents tab. Necessary steps can be taken based on the document status. For example, you can send reminders, adjust reminder settings, recall the document, email it to others, save the document to the cloud, download the document to your device, extend the expiration period, edit the document as a new document, save the document as a template, and change its ownership. Reports The Reports section provides complete analytics of all the documents signed and sent from your accounts. You can view reports for document status including completed, declined, recalled, and expiring, along with the document type, failed access, document validity, and active history. Install our mobile app. We highly recommend that you install our native mobile app to enhance productivity and save time. Our native mobile app for iOS and Android can help you sign, send, and manage documents from anywhere at any time. Integrations Zoho Sign readily integrates with our Zoho apps and other popular apps. As of now, we have integrations with Zoho apps like CRM, Books, Checkout, Invoice, Creator, Writer, People, Recruit, Forms, Flow, and much more. And other third-party apps like G Suite, Microsoft 365, Outlook, Microsoft Teams, Dropbox, Box, OneDrive, and Google Drive, and much more. API Zoho Sign also provides REST APIs so you can build your own custom apps and integrations. Check out API documentation page to learn more. Thanks for watching the video. We hope it was able to answer most of your questions about Zoho Sign's product features. For more assistance, feel free to send us an email and one of our support engineers will reach out.